Hello everyone, I'm Dylan Man or Mad Dr. Walsh on Twitter. Not Twitter, Twitch. I think I'm real Dylan Walsh on Twitter. Um because there's like a famous actor and I'm not the famous actor. Um So this week um I was planning on talking about Shantae, um Risky's Revenge, but I haven't beaten the game. It's fairly tricky. I'm not I'm honestly not super into it. Um I'm liking it, but I'm not, like, trying to devour the game quickly. And also, Splatoon 2 has kind of consumed my life. Um, but we're not going to talk about Shantae because I've not beaten it yet. Um, and so, welcome to my Saturday morning show. Um, that usually gets uploaded not around Saturday morning. I record on Saturday morning and then upload, and it uploads around Saturday afternoon. Um, I'm happy you came back. So, instead of Shantae, I was trying to think about what to talk about, what game I could talk about that I've played, um, and I'm not sure I want to just talk about Splatoon 2, um, because I want to, it's, it's one of my favorite games, so I want to dedicate a lot of effort to that, put a lot of thought into it, and maybe ha get, like, a formal script. Um... And since that's what I'll be doing, um, I'm not going to talk about Splatoon 2. Um, I downloaded Apex. I haven't played it yet. Downloaded the demo for Monster Hunter Rise, but not played it much to talk about that either. Um, so I'm going to be talking about, um... I thought about it, and I thought about talking about Resident Evil, um, and then decided to actually talk about Sinking City, because I've actually got a story with that one. Resident Evil, I mean, I could talk about it right now. It was good. It was fun. It was weird moving around. Um, it was fun figuring things out. There were a few parts where I had to look things up, um, but it was it was a fun, interesting story. It was. Um, I'm happy that I got to play it, that it's on the Switch in the format that it is now. Sinking City, uh... In terms of being happy to be able to play it now, that's still true. I think you can still get it on the Switch, but I know that there's a lot of crazy stuff going down around that game, um, which is very unfortunate. Um, it's, a, it's a good game. Singing City was a very interesting experience to me. Is that a fair thing to say? It's definitely a fair thing to say. Um, so it's survival horror, right? Um... It's not a genre that I'm super familiar with. Um, before I had played Sinking City, I played Alien Isolation, which was my first survival horror game. Um, it's also one of my top three favorite games. Um, oh, they're coming out now. There's one more. I don't think I've told you guys. But if you know me, you know what it is. Um, so I played Alien Isolation and loved it, right? It's a great game. It's so brilliant. I'm, that's like the one game that I like. I finished and I was like, I know I'm going to play this again. Um, and there haven't been too many games lately that have been like that, where I'm like, I'm just going to go and play this again. Um, so I had only played Alien Isolation, which is a great game, and then I go into Sinking City, um, and I'm expecting Alien Isolation rules. They tell you you can sneak around monsters, bad guys, so I'm like, okay, in Alien Isolation, that means if the alien's senses don't get triggered... The alien doesn't notice you. Great. In Sinking City, it means, um, don't get into proximity with these guys in general and they won't notice you. So, like, I could go and sneak around and they would have their back to me, but if I got too close, like, they would automatically turn around and see me. And, like, too close wasn't, like, on their back. It was, like, just a few... It was like, it was still a ways away, like you could throw a rock. So I was like, oh, okay. Um, which makes sense. Like, it was like, okay, of course it's not the same as Alien Isolation. Makes sense. Um, and it's Lovecraftian, um, so it's got that, like, um, New England, um, New England 20s-ish type feel to it. Super good. Um, which I like. I'm into great designs, great styles. Um... 
And so the game is you going around as a detective trying to figure things out and solve things. And also sometimes you go into dangerous areas where there are weird Lovecraftian monsters that you shoot. Um, the shooting's not great. Combat's not super great. Um, so, but I mean, it's, it's fine. It's no big deal. It doesn't really matter. You can throw grenades. You throw grenades and you win. It's fine. But the thing that I want to talk about is there's a side quest in the story. Where one of the characters that you run into, she has her mouth sewn shut. So you're like, oh no. Um, so you already feel bad for her and want to help her because she unfairly has her mouth sewn shut. Um, and she says that she needs help. Um, and it turns out that a witch is going for her. Um, is like coming after her and attacking her and making her life worse. So... You go and you try and find this witch. You do some investigating, figure some things out, and it basically leads to you summoning the witch to fight her. And all this time I'm wearing this outfit that in the game is called, like, um, Student of Science or something like that. Um, I completed a task for the university, so they gave me, like, a scientist outfit. And so I'm dressed like a scientist going on a witch hunt. Um, and... <laughs> So like, so, like, I hope you see the irony, right? A scientist, man of the books, knowledge, chasing a witch. And I, I started this quest a little late in the game. I had the Tommy gun. Um, and so I go, and, I, and I'm like, I'm getting ready to summon the witch, and I'm getting legit nervous. There aren't very many boss fights in this game, but the combat is, is hard from the player's end. Like, and this is, this is a witch. Like, this could be really hard. I'm getting really nervous. Um... And I summon the witch, and I pull out the Tommy gun, because that's my most powerful weapon. Um, I don't know if it's, like, if the bullets are most powerful, but, it, like, getting the most shots off is super useful. Um, so I pull out the Tommy gun, intending to, like, blow through it, and then I'm probably gonna have to pull out my other guns. And so, I go, and I, I summon the witch, and she shows up, and it's like, there's, I think there's a cutscene. She comes up, like, in the air, so she's floating, it's big, it's scary... And I'm, like, freaking out, and so I pull the Tommy gun, aim, pull the trigger, and it's going to be hard since I'm holding my phone. Like, she's the witch just goes, <laughs> over and over again, until she dies. Like, I, I just, like, I'm this man of science, and this witch shows up, and I just, blast her into the wall with the tommy gun and she just falls over and dies like it was so awful and so funny like I, i'm sorry like i hope you see the i hope you see the humor in man of science just blowing away like it's almost like he like lights a cigarette and then throws it on her and is like that's right which just don't really exist. And that was, like, I, I don't think I'd get an experience like that in another game. Um, it was so good. It was so funny. And I loved it. And that was, that's all that I've got to say about Sinking City. I'll see you next week. Maybe I'll finish Shantae. Who knows? Bye.